Set up today's What's Poppin' with a look at the weekend's box office numbers. And taking third spot, we have The Nutty Job 2. Nutty by nature, following the events of the first film, Shirley and his friends must stop Oakton City's mayor from destroying their home to make way for a dysfunctional amusement park during its opening week. The Nut Job 2 scored just, say, just shy of $9 million. For this weekend's runner-up, we have Dunkirk. Allied soldiers from Belgium, Great Britain and France surrounded by the German army while desperately awaiting evacuation. In its fourth week in theaters, Dunkirk brought in $11 million for a total of $153 million. The horror prequel Annabelle Creation takes the top spot several years after the death of their little girl. A doll maker and his wife welcome a nun and several orphans into their home only to become the target of the doll maker's possessed creation. The film outdid estimates by debuting at number one at the weekend's box office with a 35 million bucks. Bruno Mars is lending a hand to those suffering from the Flint water crisis. The pop star and Live Nation are donating $1 million to the Community Foundation of Greater Flint. Mars has made the announcement during his concert in Michigan. This was on Saturday. In a statement, Mars says it's important that we don't forget about our brothers and sisters affected by this disaster. Good job. Willie Nelson will be back on the road again soon. The legendary singer-songwriter had to cut his Salt Lake City show early on Sunday. The 84-year-old said he had breathing issues. Nelson later tweeted an apology, stating, The altitude got to me and I'm feeling better now and headed for lower ground. His latest album, God's Problem Child, was released in May and became his 17th chart topper on Billboard's Top Country Albums chart. Leo will be playing Leo. Variety and Deadline report Paramount has outbid Universal for the film rights to an upcoming book about Leonardo da Vinci, who will be played by Leonardo DiCaprio. And it seems meant to be. DiCaprio's mother claimed she chose the name because she felt him kick in utero for the first time when she was in Florence, Italy, looking at a piece by Da Vinci. Interesting, Tom Cruise appeared to suffer an injury on Sunday while filming Mission Impossible 6. Cru How many more are we going to get of this Mission Impossible? Cruise, who is no stranger to performing his own stunts, while was attempting to jump from a rigging onto a building but fell short and hit the building. He is seen limping after the accident. The extent of Cruise's injuries is unknown. Oh, this is me. This is the end. This is the end. Hey, guess what, everyone? <laughs> we'll take a look at one of our favorite recipes from Chef.